white welcome to the critical focus cell and today's little unusual kind of style of a video and i want to discuss a topic that kind of came up and that is regarding the best of three format tweaks have been made to the best of three formats as of later seasons and that is that the person losing the board roll-off for the first game will automatically win it for the second roll-off. And that's obviously also a good thing, because it uh, negates the chance for one of the players winning the roll-off for all three games. But it's just really a band-aid, because in the third game, if there is a third game, we will be back to rolling. And I don't have statistics to prove this. I could probably maybe find some. What I'm trying to convey is that in the case of games going to the third game, I am pretty convinced that the win ratio will be skewered heavily towards the person winning two out of three board roll-offs. So if we take that for a fact, could we perhaps do something to uh, tweak this a little bit to make it more fair, I guess. I'm not trying to convince you to remove all randomness out of a game, but I think this could kind of maybe be tweaked a little bit to, uh, to maybe improve the format or maybe actually overhaul the format um, so much that maybe a best of two format is a better option. And my arguments for the best of two formats would then be it's less boring to be fair i am not too keen on playing three games with the same warband versus the same warband in a best of two format it's two games tops and in the case of a draw which will obviously happen pretty much you could just tally up the total glory if it's a tie and the winner takes it all right that's one alternative but if you want to stick with the best of three format i think a slight boost could be given to the player losing boards two times. So in the third game, if you are the losing player for both board roll-offs, maybe you will have the innate crit for the initiative, regardless if you have fewer fighters or not. And if you have fewer fighters, it's a moot point, then you could choose another bonus, something like a double mulligan or an innate success in either defense or offense that has to be declared before the attack or defense roll is made, right? Maybe the player could choose out of those three or even more options when we actually arrive at the point where we have this situation, right? So what I want to find out from you guys is do you think the best of three is a good format as it is? Maybe nothing needs to be done to alleviate this slight injustice as i said i'm not trying to remove every dice roll from the game it's still a dice game and dice will not always be fair obviously so do you think my alternatives with uh, like an innate success a double mulligan or an innate crit for the um, initiative role is good options do you have something else in mind or do you prefer the option with the two game best of two game mode with the total glory being the tiebreaker there or maybe something else being the tiebreaker so just a short short video here for me today uh, just to get some discussion going so hit me up in the comments with your thoughts on this topic do you think it's a problem or do you find um, the current situation being a good one in the case of uh, best of three uh, player mode uh, game mode i guess Maybe you don't even play Best of Three, and, and in that case, you could comment that as well. Uh, what type of setup do you prefer uh, when it comes to your games? So, as always, make sure to like the video, uh, hit that bell button as so not to miss out any further uh, content from the channel, and uh, leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And stay subscribed if you already are. <laughs> so, uh, without further ado, Take care. Bye. Critical.